memories light the corner of my mind misty watercolored memories of the way Memories. That's what this show is all about. My theatrical memories and perhaps here and there a few personal memories. And I couldn't pick a better place than Las Vegas to do my memories theatrically. And I've been working here since 1945 and uh, didn't start out in a place as luxurious as this. Started out in a place called the El Rancho Vegas. And it was groovy. And my dad and my uncle and myself, we were an opening act. And incidentally, speaking of this place, which is called Caesar's Palace, you probably see in a first, you're seeing it empty. It's kind of spooky, but it's kind of nice. And it's lit like we see it as performers during a rehearsal. But I figured this would be a good place to tell you about my 50 years in show business. Uh-huh. That's how long I've been in it. I started off when I was, well, about the same size I am now, <laughs> with my dad and my uncle. But it's been 50 glorious years. Tonight, from Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Sandy, the Golden Year. Celebrate an entertainment special event with your host, Mr. Sammy Davis Jr. Now I feel dressed. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to Caesar's Palace, ladies and gentlemen. George, let's get it on. Yeah. Uh -huh. This, my friends, is only the beginning. Such a sweet beginning to you. Now at last, I see my chance of winning. See my chance of breaking through. Who can say today may live in history as long as there's a history book? Yesterday, the world was still a mystery. Today, it has a new and different look. So, my friends, 
let's send the old world spinning. Change is what I recommend. Come on, my friends, let's see the sweet beginning through to the bitter end, through to the bitter end. Ladies and gentlemen, George Rhodes at the Caesars Palace Orchestra. Today may live in history as long as there's a history book. Why only yesterday the world was still a mystery. Today it has a new and a different look. So, my friends, let's send the old world spinning. Change is what I recommend. Come on, my friends, let's see this sweet beginning through to the bitter end. Through to the bitter end. Through to the Welcome you. I thank you to Caesar's Palace. This is uh, home base for yours truly, as well as a lot of mutual friends. This uh, this show is called Memories. For you nice folks who are here this evening, and I just want to let you know that it's based upon the memories that I have about the, the town, the people, and the generosity of, that has been laid on me by nice folks like yourselves through the years. Because I first started working in Las Vegas and. As I told our watching audience in 1945 at the El Rancho Vegas, we were an opening act, and there my dad, my uncle, and myself. And to have lasted that long, that's kind of nice. But memories go in different directions with me when it, when it becomes theatrical. The, uh, the point being that you can have memories about things, but how do they affect the theatricality of the individual? For instance, um, about 17, 18 years ago, I was appearing at a place called the Sands Hotel across the street. And I went to Brazil, and I came back from Brazil after doing three weeks at the Copacabana Hotel, right? And uh, I brought back something with me that I put on records, and I put on albums, and I do it in the show occasionally, and occasionally it creeps up behind me. I was in England recently, and someone said, Sam, could you tell us something? And I said, yeah, that, what, whatever you want to know, you know. So we, well, we think you're very amusing as, as, as a performer, but we would like to know, what does that thing you say mean? I went, what thing? He says, when you go, ging, 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 gong, gong. <laughs> he tried to figure it out. And what he meant was this. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Gong chicky gong chicky gong gong chicky gong chicky gong chicky gong chicky gong chicky gong. See that's a that's Brazilian bossa nova. See, 
And you gotta dig it because it, it has a kind of a special feel to it. It's sensual, makes your legs go all funny, you know. And it applies to any number in the world, case in point. No one to walk with, all by myself. No one to talk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for gong, chicky, gong, chicky, gong, gong, chicky, gong, chicky, gong, chicky, gong, chicky, gong, chicky, gong, gong, chicky, gong, gong, gong. I know for certain the one that I love. I am through with flirting. It's just you I'm thinking of. Ain't misbehaving. I'm saving my love for. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Like Jack Horner sitting in a corner. Don't go nowhere. What do I? Care. Your kisses are worth waiting for. Believe me, yeah. I don't go out late, don't care to go. I'm home about eight, just me and my radio. Ain't misbehaving. I'm saving my love for you. Yeah, George. Ain't this baby? Sweetie, do we not sing that it and we not? Ching, 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 ching. song for two years before I found out what Candyman meant on the corner. <laughs> oh, who can take the rainbow, wrap it in a sign, soak it in the sun and make a groovy lemon pie. The Candyman, the Candyman can, yeah, the Candyman can, cause he mixes it with love to make the world taste good. Oh, the Candyman makes everything he makes satisfying and delicious. Talking about your childhood wishes. Who can 
Kendrick. That's the nicest thing that's happened to me in a long time. Thank you very much, little one. And collectible the cream, the candy man. The candy man can. Yeah, the candy man can, cause he mixes it with love to make the world taste good. down there who is nice enough to lay this on me. That is very special, and I thank you for that, because I've never had somebody my size ever give me a rose. <laughs> That's sweet, and I thank you for it, darling. Put it right there where it made special. Ah, that's nice. Wait till Tom Jones hears about that. <laughs> And ain't been having to go no boogie 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 boogie. Um, <laughs> that's another thing about memories and performers who are friends. You, you remember all the buddies. And I worked with Tom twice on this television show. And we had a great deal of fun. He was a marvelous performer and a great personality. And when I entertain, I, my whole idea is to try to make it like a house party. See? Now, on the strip at this particular time is a... Every hotel has somebody that I'm associated with musically, friendship-wise, or what have you. There's a man appearing at the Riviera at this point with a delicious young lady by the name of Melissa Manchester. His name is Kenny Rogers. <laughs> and he hot, boy. I'm talking about psst, hot. Anybody don't like Kenny Rogers, don't like chicken on Sunday. I mean that, boy. Because he transcends all lines, all everything. So for those of you who are into Kenny Rogers and his type of entertaining and music, we lay this next one on you. And for those of you who may yet to be exposed to it, dig on it, if you will. Look at it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And the night got deathly quiet 
and his face lost all expression. He said, if you're gonna play the game, boy, learn to play it right. You gotta know when to hold up. No when to hold up. No when to walk away. No when to run. And never count your money. When you sit at the table, the big time of love for gambling. When the deal is done. Now every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner, every hand's a loser, and the best that you can hope for is to die in your sleep. When he finished speaking, he turned back toward the window, crushed out a cigarette, faded off to sleep. And so in the darkness, the gambler he broke even, but in his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. You gotta know when to hold up. No when to hold up. No when to walk away. No when to run and never count your money. When you sit at the table, there be time enough for counting. Come on, I want to take everybody singing clap. Just in time, I found you just in time. Before you came, my time was running low. I was lost, the losing dice were tossed. My bridges all were crossed, nowhere to go. But now, you're here, and now I know just where I'm going. No more doubt of fear. I done found, I have found my way. I was doing so good up till then. For love came just in time. I found you just in time You changed my lonely life That lucky day
you Just in time You changed my lonely life That lucky day You changed my lonely life Turned around my humble life You changed my lonely life That lucky day Here the eagle, the professor. still say I love you on that you can rely no matter what the future brings as time goes by moonlight and love song they're never out of date Hearts full of passion Jealousy and hate Woman needs man Man must have his mate That no one Will deny It's still the same Old story A fight for Love or glory A case Of do it die the world will always welcome lovers as time goes by isn't it funny about songs how they'll stir everyone's imagination or memories and I, I bet you this is one of those songs that you can imagine, you can really remember where you were the first time you heard it, who you, who you were with. And, because I know I can, and it brings back, it, it stirs up nostalgia for me. I used to think, see, as a performer, I think, uh, uh, see, what I think about is, I think of Peter Lorre, Sidney Greenstreet, Conrad Veidt, you know, Claude Rains, Paul Henry, Ingrid Bergman, and a man that I knew as a close friend, a legend by the name of Bogey. He was special, and he was real. There was no, that cat he played often in the pictures, that was him. He was, he called him as he saw him, uh, and he was dynamite. But the funny thing about the song was that Dooley Wilson, who did it in the film, didn't ever make a record of it that I can remember, at least I know I don't have it, and I have a pretty good record collection. And most of the people who heard him do it would refuse to record the song, at least not while the picture was still hot. They waited four or five years to do it. And I think the first record of it up was done by uh, my friend. Yeah. Also a legend. Mr. Class and Mr. Dignity. And if the man upstairs had so deemed it, he'd still be a superstar today, not King Cole. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is still a sigh the fundamental things apply as time goes by Tony Bennett, I don't know if he ever recorded it Moonlight, moonlight and love songs <laughs> Never out of date Hearts, 
hearts full of passion, jealousy, and hate. Woman, I said, woman needs man. Man must have his mate. Let no one, no one's ever gone denied. Or Louis Armstrong. Well, it's still the same old story. My poor love of glory. Papa so says it is. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes. Give me another thing. Humphrey Bogart. must remember this. That's right, sweetheart. A kiss is still a kiss. And a sigh? Well, a sigh is nothing but a sigh. And all those, uh, all those fundamental things, they, uh, they still apply as time goes by. Blue eyes. Uh, Cagney. <laughs> when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. And that, and that you can't rely. That's right. No matter what the future brings, as time, as time goes by, you dirty rat. <laughs> Lionel Barrymore. Moonlight and love songs, the never out of date. Hearts full of passion and jealousy and hate. W.C. Fields. Yes, woman needs man. Yes. Man must have his maid. That no one, no one will ever, will ever deny. Yes. Coming, my little chickadee. My little kumquat. Get away, kid, you draw flies. Go back to the middle part, baby. Let's do a little Marlon Brando. Oh, <laughs> 
have to. You got a heart. It's full of passion, jealousy, it's hate over there. Woman needs man. Man must have his man. Not no one. Not no one. You'll ever deny it. But Michael, it was never my intention that you should take over the family business. But since you have, I want to listen. Say these words to you. If Bansini's going to make a move toward the family, know that it's going to be coming from someone close. So keep your eyes and your ears open. And I won't be here all the time to guide you. How's your wife and your kid? Man, remember that's very such a heart. I'm going to go lay down. <coughs> Dean Martin. Looking at you, kid. The professor at the piano, Rudy Egan. It's a time to reflect. Being in the business 50 years. And uh, starting out when I was a kid and all of that jazz, it's time to reflect on what your life's about and to grapple those friends that you have with hoops of steel, as Shakespeare said. And to reflect back on pleasant memories, theatrical memories. I got one more thing I'm gonna lay on you before I go tonight. And I don't do this every night here, but I wanted to do it tonight. Let me do for you a, a musical capsule version of a show that I waited 19 years to do. A show called Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. <laughs> Written by a neighbor down the street by the name of Anthony Newley and Leslie Brickers, two dear friends who are members of the family. And uh, 
they allowed me the privilege many years, 19 years ago, as a matter of fact, to introduce the songs at the Sands. And George, who conducted the recent edition, arranged and conducted most, he conducted all the music, arranged most of the charts. We wanted to do a little more than a soup song. We wanted to do something of the show. So, but I gotta lay something on you. It runs about eight minutes now. I'm telling you this now, and it's kind of heavy because we take a character from the time he's in his early 20s till he gets to his middle 80s. And when he gets to be old, senior citizen, let us say, he realizes he's made all the wrong choices. It's too late to change. He's lost his wife. He's lost his children. He succeeded in business. He's a multimillionaire, but it was the wrong choice because no one's there for him to turn to and say, I love you, because he never said it when he had the opportunity. So with your kind permission, here is a musical collage, if you will, of Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Just once in a lifetime A man knows a moment One wonderful moment When fate takes his hand And this is my moment My once in a lifetime can explore a new and exciting land. Oh, once in my lifetime, I feel like a child. I soar like an eagle, as though I had wings for this is my moment, my destiny holds me, and though it may be just once in my lifetime. Take my 
place I will leave a son in my heaven on earth with the good Lord's grace for life life is a woman an endless surprise always opening up your heart and closing your eyes bending your brain showering you with sunshine love and pain and like a woman life changes each day holds you closely to her heart then throws you away what can you say guess it's one more game we learn to play and like a woman life can save your soul with a kiss one gentle kiss and all the anger all the fear all the pain and sadness a special kind of fool to think he can win who wants to win life is a woman life is a should have loved who would have loved you you're worth so much more than me Evie. believe in me Evie you know that's true but if we could live twice I'd make life paradise for someone really nice like you
kind of fool am I who never fell in love? It seems that I'm the only one. that I have been thinking of. What... What kind of man is this? An empty shell. A lonely cell in which an empty heart must dwell. What kind of lips are these? that lied with with every kiss that whispered empty words empty words of love that's left me alone like this why can't I Fall in love like any other man, and maybe then I'll know what kind of fool I am. Kind of clown. Am I? What do I know of life? Why can't I cast away the mask, the mask of play, and live my life? Why? I would like to thank a lot of people for making this hour of memories for me so memorable. Memories are usually attached with family, and family to me means show people and show business moments I've known, and a lot of friends outside of the realm of show business that I play golf with that I just hang out with. But I know all my memories couldn't have become a reality in 50 years if it hadn't been for two men particularly. A man by the name of Sam Davis Sr. and a man by the name of Will Maston who put me in show business. Oh, and a groovy lady, my mother, Still with me, thank the man upstairs, Alvira. So I thank them all, and I thank you for allowing me to come into your homes with my memories. Who knows, 10 years from now, good Lord willing and the creek don't run dry, I may come back and tell you about 60 years of memories. But it's been fun. 
I hope it has been for you, too. Thank you very much. Good night.